What? That's loud. What was it about the, the zone that you think you guys really struggled with? Uh, we didn't make shots. We, we held on to the ball. Um, and it, it broke our rhythm. And so uh, you got to give them credit for sticking with the zone. Um, we just, you know, we, we, we had some good looks. We just didn't make them. And then when you play zone, um, you got to be able to make shots. And we just didn't do that tonight. You had a quick timeout in the third quarter, another quick timeout, at, I think, in Brooklyn. I know you've talked about letting the guys play. Uh, what's, I'm just curious what the thinking behind you know, the, the quicker ones have been lately. Yeah, you know, um, we were just holding the ball. And so um, they, they ran off, I think uh, it was uh, a 5 0 run there to start. And so um, I had a timeout to burn, so I thought it would burn it quickly. So the game just didn't get away from us. Uh, with the zone, and so when we came out of that time, I would, we responded uh, on both ends, and then we just could never get you know control of the beat and hard in there. They got going, and so once those two get going, then the, the basket got big for everybody else. You know, you, you mentioned you felt like you were holding the ball too much, the ball stick, and obviously Luke is a guy who he's going to have the ball in his hands a lot most of the time. What are, you know? How do you, how do you want him to change his approach when you are looking at his own? Yeah, it's not you know so much. Uh, it's when he makes the pass, we hold it. You gotta you gotta understand what's coming. Do I shoot it or do I redrive it? There's you know there's not much more that you can think about. But if you massage the ball, uh, it gives the defense the zone the opportunity to get back into uh, their position. And so that's what we were doing, and we just you know when we did do it and we we did what we were supposed to, good things happened. And, and we got good looks, even though we missed. But we just had some silly, you know, turnovers, careless turnovers, stepping out of bounds, not just once, but three times or four times. Um, the court's no bigger, no smaller here. So um, we, we can't do that against elite teams. We can't have those careless turnovers. But um, sometimes the ball goes in for you, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, we got another one tomorrow in Charlotte. Um, this has been a pretty good road trip, and this is a, a good way to end it, hopefully, uh, in Charlotte with a W. But we can't play like we did tonight. Uh, we'll find ourselves again with another loss. You know, in Beams, obviously, if you can play really good defense, and sometimes it doesn't matter. Yeah. In general, how do you feel about the way you guys defended him tonight? We tried. Um, you know, I, I thought we did a really good job there in the first um, half. Um, you know, he's going to get to, we, we, we talked about keeping him off the free throw line and he still found a way to get to the free throw line. The other part of it is, you know, he, when he starts to make threes, it becomes very, very tough to, to guard him. But I thought he played in the pocket extremely well at the free throw line and uh, he made a lot of those shots. Uh, sometimes those are the shots you got to live with. Um, it, it's not him at the rim or him shooting wide open threes. You're going to have to live with that little free throw jump shot and he made them tonight. Can't imagine it's much fun to guard and be for an entire game. How do you feel? What, what was that experience like? And you know, what do you do when he he still manages thirty two? I mean, we all love this game. Competition is always fun. So uh, being able to go up against a guy like that, it's a challenge. But um, that's what it's all about. That's what this league's all about. It's going up against the best. And uh, he had a good night and um, learned something from it. That's for sure. What did what did you see with uh, the zone defense that are running and, and your guys struggles struggles to adapt to it? Yeah, it disrupted us a bit. Um, we'll definitely go back through the film and, and try to learn something from that as well. Um, but yeah, it, it's it, we struggled with it a little bit tonight. With Embiid, obviously he's he's a physical force. He's also one of the most skilled center. What are you trying to take away there? Um, just trying to take away something. Um, his touch is great. Um, he can shoot the ball. He's obviously a physical presence that you have to respect. Um, he's crafty enough to draw fouls if you're out of position. So sending two guys at him is important, trying to get the ball out of his hands. But um, he's so effective at, at using angles. He's so effective at ducking in. And also his mid-range shot um, makes it very difficult to, to leave his body. So um, yeah, he's, he's a great player. He's proved that all season long and, and his whole career. So. Uh, it's definitely a challenge to, to defend, but um, we try to throw two guys at him whenever we could. Give him a chance to look. Oh. <laughs> you, see, you see anything on there? Yeah, I just, 
I know sometimes a stat can be deceiving, but minus 12 isn't the best. That's all. You shot well, um, but I think probably you guys struggled, struggled against the zone. Is there a reason that you saw that you guys are just not solving it this game? Um, just, just a little passive, I think, uh, especially when the zone came. Um, um, I think that's really it. Uh, there was this one possession where we over, we had a lot of open shots, so we overpassed, and then I think those stepped out of bounds, and um, uh, one of us is just going to take the shot. Uh, yeah, just a little passive. That's all. Is it fun playing in Philly for you? I think I saw your dad was here. Yeah, it's it's definitely fun playing here. Um, played in this building for three years. Um, Grew up not too far from here. Um, yeah, this definitely is a little special. I'm yeah, sorry. Jalen, when Luke is not having as efficient a shooting night as he's been accustomed to lately, for you guys as the other point guards and the other you know backcourt members, do you recognize that as the game's going on? Is that something that you then try and take some of the, the attention and pressure off him? Or, or how do you approach that situation when he's playing like, like he did tonight? Um, I think he's um, he's allowed to have a night like this. Um, he does a lot for our team. Um, obviously, we don't want it, but um, Luca does so much for us. And um, nine in and nine out, and, uh, he produces for us. So um, it's all right. I know he'll bounce back. Um, I mean, that's for us. We're just we're to play basketball. You know, they to just find a way. Um, not necessarily saying, oh, he's off. Uh, we gotta step up. It's just um, score time and realizing what the situation is during that time of the game. But um, I'm not really worried about him. He'll step up. He's 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 Luca. One really serious question: Did you get to Wawa? Off the, as soon as I got the bus, chop my bag off, <laughs> walked right down the street to Wawa. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah. Offensive night for you guys, and how much of that do you think was was the Sixers in their, in their zone in particular? And, you know, how much of that was just uh, an offshoot at night? I mean, yeah, I think it was both a little bit, uh, but uh, I mean, they played great zone. Uh, we played in the zone in the first game. Now they got us back with the zone, so <laughs> now it's one more. But you know, I think it's both. Uh, they were playing great defense, uh, but we didn't make shots either. Uh, how? how would you know, obviously, you haven't been able to look at the film, but how do you think you guys should maybe attack a zone differently? I mean, I think it's like the first game or second game they, they put zone to us. So I think uh, we're going to have to work on it and next time, you know, just get the adjustments and mostly attack the paint. All right, last one for me. Um, listen to you on JJ Reddick's podcast. You have future me if you want it. Um, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take our job yet. Uh, but one thing I thought was really interesting was when you're talking about, I uh, you, know, you had a conversation with yourself, basically you've got to stop the elder reps. It's easy to say when you feel like you're getting fouled, you feel like maybe a call's not going your way. How do you control your emotions? How do you bite your tongue? Uh, it's a funny thing. I just start singing a song in my head. Uh, one of my first songs I pick and then just start singing, you know, and just then you pass. You know, I think at least last couple of games, I've been great with the officials, you know, just uh, if I think they're foul, just go to them, talk to them normal. And, but that's, that's it, you know, just got to be this way. Okay, now I'm going to ask. <laughs> what, what, what songs? It's a, either Slovenian or a Serbian song. <laughs> I was going to follow up on that too. It looked like, I mean, it was obviously a tough shooting night for you personally, but I did notice, and I think we all noticed that you weren't, you know, being demonstrative about it in any way. Were you singing songs? Was that, you know, something that you were really focused on, on kind of keeping your emotions in check despite a tough night? I mean, yeah, it's always tough to, you know, keep keep yourself with this, this type of nights. Obviously, it's not the first one. It's for sure not the last one. Uh, so, but you gotta learn from this, you know, you just gotta watch your film, what you did wrong. You know, maybe the energy wasn't there or whatever you did wrong, you just gotta learn from it and go to the next game. Who gave you the suggestion or how did you think of singing songs to keep yourself level? 
Uh, I remember Dirk once, uh, it was, I think, last year. It was not about like uh, this, but he said like, before the free throw, he used to sing a song, you know, and he said, just to relax and make a shot. And, you know, I use this now as, a, as, as with dealing with the reps. So he helped me. It's a good guy to take advice from. Yeah. Are you, a, are you a good singer or is it better that you're singing in your head? Probably better in my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's literally all I had. I, I know you got Charlotte next, so we're just having fun here tonight. Yeah. So, I'm good, Alan.